When you when you was walked right. off the field, what was in your mindset? I was like, you know how you you know as a kid, when you you just know the people ain't with you no more. Damn. You know when you play football, you know it's not. It, it seemed like an individual game from the stats, and the way I look on TV. But you know, I'm, everyone depend on everyone. It's a team game. So, in a moment in life when you just know, you know, you compass everything and, and you gave your all to everything, and you know, the, you realize that I'm gonna continue to. I'm going to continue to be, you know, scrutinated, put down, to just be attacked on a takedown more so, a uh, uplift. So when you realize that people around you and, and they for you for the good cause and, you know, you, you feel good that you finally do what's best for yourself because now you ain't got to deal with that. And for me, that damn met life was like liberation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I already had played football to make the money. You know, I was just doing it, you know, to – Win more, you know, be a champion. Uh -huh. So at that point where you realize, you know, the team ain't with you, the organization ain't with you, the quarterback not with you, it's like. Wait, but Tom wasn't with you? Because yeah, cause, Tom called you up. Yeah, Tom, it seemed like uh, you, you and Tom was real brown at one time. You you yeah. gave Tom his props. No, I get everyone their props from a team standpoint mm -hmm. as far as the team. But, you know, we all got our own agendas in the midst of the team. No, uh, I got goals. I got things I want to accomplish, and I need people to help me do it. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I'm not a player that's, you know, don't act like it don't mean much to me. I'm not here to, you know, play just to play. You know, I got to make a difference. You know, health is wearing down, age is wearing down. I'm not saying I'm a selfish player. I'm just saying I like to be utilized to get the most out of what I'm doing. And sometimes the quarterback don't see your vision as a receiver, and the team don't see your vision as a receiver. But that's what I thought they put But you was the bowling out. Oh. But they got to feed me. <laughs> <laughs> they never they, enough. They, they stopped feeding you. I had 60 huh? catches. I was supposed to have 116. Yeah, they never enough. <laughs> they stopped feeding you. He was like, oh, I'm starving. Now, huh? now I don't think they stopped feeding me. No, no, he just, was so used to the 132 catch seasons <laughs> yeah. that 75 didn't sell right. The fuck is you? Yeah, he fucked this thing up. <laughs> nah, you know what I'm saying? He it's like, more oh. than the performance. It's still like, <laughs> you know, it's a job within the game. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you got a job to do with the plays and all that. But you know when someone generally there for you. You know what I'm saying? When someone generally got your back. If I say, oh, yeah, okay, I'm going to bring Gillian Wallow, my man, to the team because they're going to help us win. But, yeah, I'm going to let them stay with me, though, man. They stay with me. You know, you stay with me. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know what I'm saying? That's not a good representation of me as a big brother to you guys. If, you guys, if I'm bringing you guys in to help me win. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like I'm bringing you to help me win. But to them, yeah, I got them in control. Like, I got them. Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you I got him. Holler at me. Yeah, I got yeah, him. yeah, yeah, yeah. He gonna do what I tell him yeah, to do. You, yeah, yeah. You peeped that. Like little boy when did you me? peep that? Right after we got what we deserve, the oh. Super Bowl. You see what I'm saying? When we got the ring, 